Hi, I'm Pastor Don Clark, and uh, uh, so great to have you with us again today. Uh, another one of my great, great friends, and I know you're probably saying by now, he says that everybody is his friends, and that's kind of true. Uh, today I have with me uh, uh, Yvonne, and uh, Yvonne is a part of uh, the, uh, the Pregnancy Resource Center. Mm -hmm. And I don't know if you guys are calling it the Pregnancy Resource Center of Monroe, or uh, how, how is it, what, what are you ex exactly calling it? Oh, okay, our uh, corporate name uh -huh. is the Pregnancy Resource Center of Walton. Of Walton County. So, now you serve, you don't only serve Walton County, you serve other areas also, am I correct about that? All the East Metro area of Atlanta, okay, yes. Okay. The reason that we um, we concentrate on Walton is because when women come to the center mm -hmm. and they need a referral for a government agency, mm -hmm. then you, you know, whatever county you live in, you have to register with that county agency. And so it just uh, stands to reason that they come to the county where they live. Right. But um, we're not limited to that. We don't limit anyone. Now you said, and uh, I don't know if you jumped ahead or if that's the that's the flow of where we need to go. Okay. You said that when the women come to you, uh -huh. uh, so tell us just uh, how what exactly is it that you offer to uh, the women here in Walton and the surrounding counties? Okay. Um, we are a uh, nonprofit ministry. Mm -hmm. Pastor Dong to anyone facing the challenges of an unplanned pregnancy. Okay. And um, because uh, of the issue of abortion, mm -hmm. um, we are a life affirming ministry. And so we want to help women mm -hmm. and their families talk about their options when they're facing the choice of uh, an unplanned pregnancy. Mm -hmm. They are a lot of times feel like they're in crisis. Maybe they don't have enough money for another child. Right. Maybe they, you know, there's several reasons why women might uh, be in crisis over an unplanned pregnancy. Right. And so we just try to befriend them, uh, help them to talk about their options, mm -hmm. and um, give them factual information uh, about adoption, mm -hmm. um, about parenting, and also about abortion. Okay. We do not refer for abortions. Uh, we don't offer birth control. Okay. We are there to uh, specifically center in on that woman and her life and help her make a decision that she can live with and that will promote life and promote her family as well. Now, I know you know this about, about us and about our church, mm -hmm. that, that we're in an area and I see a lot of uh, very, very young ladies uh, that are pregnant. Mm -hmm. And, uh, and I, I don't know necessarily that they recognize the, uh, the option of being able to uh, adopt their child. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm, uh, and I don't know if, if I'm referring to that properly. This by is having the proper someone, way. Or having someone else adopt their child. Right. Place and, their baby in adoption. Exactly. Yeah. And, the, and the reason I say that is because and now, now I'm seeing... I'm seeing young girls uh, in the situation where uh, where they are in their sometimes in their mid teens, mm -hmm. maybe sometimes in their late teens, mm -hmm. have not even come close to graduating high school yet, okay. and um, and they're in a situation to where um, where they're going to really really have a hard time okay. taking care of the baby, and uh, and I don't really understand. I don't know that they know that. That, that there is an option of placing their child in a family that would be, uh, that, that could have adequate resources yeah. to take care of that child. Now, uh, uh, and, I, and I don't know, I, I, maybe this is the, uh, I'm hoping that this is the right question and maybe you can help me out a little bit here. Okay. So what are the, what are the steps that a young lady like that would take if they said, well, okay, you know, I'm looking at where I am, mm -hmm. the best thing for me would be is to um, to maybe uh, place my child in a home that's going to be uh, able to take care of it well. When a woman calls uh, the pregnancy center mm -hmm. and makes an appointment and comes in, and by the way, they don't have to have an appointment; they can walk in. Uh, but when they come, um, we uh, ask them, you know, what can we do for you? 
so we, they fill out a request for services form. Uh, we have client advocates who are volunteers, trained volunteers, mm -hmm. and so they go and they sit and talk with one another. Um, this uh, young woman tells us what her needs seem to be, right. that she believes, right. uh, what her fears are, the emotions that are wrapped up in this pregnancy. And through that, they began to talk about making wise choices, where this young woman is, is the uh, baby father going to be involved, mm -hmm. uh, what does the future look like um, in the next uh, nine months, right. in the next year, and uh, what would be the best decision for her. Mm -hmm. And if she, and, and we have also lots of information in regard to um, uh, for instance, the title, um, making, um, is parenting for me now, Right. Uh, making an adoption plan for my baby. Mm -hmm. um, and, and Pastor Dawn, we do this without our own agenda other than affirming life. Exactly. You know, whether they place their baby in adoption, whether they parent, um, we want to help them do what is best for them. And, 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 and uh, you know, knowing that uh, that there's a large group of moms that really do care for their children, absolutely, and um, and that that really cringe at the idea of having to, you know, place the child somewhere else. Yes. Uh, sometimes it is a better start for the child to place them somewhere else because it gives the child. Um, it gives the beginning of their lives a pl uh, building blocks that's necessary Absolutely. for them to go where they need to go in life. Absolutely, it is. Adoption is the most courageous choice a woman can choose for her child. It says that she affirms that child's life, that she believes that that child is um, a blessing. Mm -hmm whether it is her blessing or someone else's blessing. Right, right. And eventually, you know, um, I was uh, reading an article today even that was talking about whether a woman chooses to parent, adopt, place an adoption, mm -hmm. or abort her child. She is pregnant. Right. She will never be the same. Mm -hmm. She will have always, through her life, she will have been pregnant. Exactly. And she will have made a choice for another life. Wow. And she needs, she has to live with that. So um, there is a very negative connotation on adoption. Mm -hmm. But if we go back to the Word of God, right. Moses, um, Jochebed placed him in the river for mm -hmm. his protection, mm -hmm. for his safety, knowing that he'd have a better life. And, and I was even looking at recently, Sunday we talked about it here in church, where uh, uh, Samuel's mom, yeah. Uh, actually took him to the temple. That's I mean, right. she actually made a promise to God that she was going to give him uh, to the Lord. That's but right. she actually placed him in the hands of the priest at the temple, and he and he remained there all Absolutely. his life. Absolutely. And think about this: even Jesus mm -hmm. was adopted by wow. Joseph. Wow! Yes. You know, yes. even Jesus, Pastor Hugo. Um, said uh, recently in one of our board and meetings. And Moses? And, yeah, yeah. Okay. And pa Pastor Hugo said, you know, um, even Jesus needed an earthly father. Wow. So he was placed in adoption. And not only that, but, you know, here's the gospel. We're adopted in the beloved through yes. the blood of Jesus. Yes. So, so we're trying to help these young women and um, whatever age they are to see that they have a wonderful choice to make. Wow. That uh, God created them to be a nurturer of life. Mm -hmm. And that abortion does not nurture life. Mm -hmm. It terminates it. It terminates it early. Mm -hmm. It does not. Uh, it does not affirm life whatsoever. Not only in that child, but in the mom, and even in the surrounding family as well. And and, and you know, and I, I know that there are. I actually don't hear very much about abortions mm -hmm. in my uh, in my area, mm -hmm. and I know that it. it Definitely, probably happens, mm -hmm. but uh, but the major thing that I see is young girls having babies, mm -hmm. and um, and I know that I just know that that can be a, a an answer for you know to have a child come up in a in a good environment and that the child's life can begin to be 
more productive than it would, you know, in a situation where the mom would not be able to take care of. Now, I, I have, I, I've kind of been a little bit rude uh, in, in the fact that I have not uh, talked about who, who you are exactly. I know I mentioned your name, yeah. but, uh, but what exactly do you do there at the uh, Pregnancy Resource Center? Um, I am the executive director, mm -hmm. and um, so what that means is that I oversee the operations, and I'm kind of the voice right. for the ministry. It mm -hmm. is a ministry of, of uh, affirming life, and uh, we have uh, two staff members. We're, uh, I'm a paid staff member, so we have three paid staff members part-time. Okay. We have uh, a director of client services, that's mm -hmm. Karen Roberts, okay. and we have a nurse. Uh, Miriam Nelson wow. and the reason that we have a nurse is because last year we became a medical center and we um, were originally located in Loganville and we still are in Loganville but we do ultrasounds here in Monroe now okay. on Breedlove Drive wow. and um, with that uh, we have the opportunity again to um, affirm that life through viewing that ultrasound mm -hmm. and um, that personalizes that child in the woman's womb when she sees a picture of her baby she uh, as a matter of fact the statistics say that she's 90 percent more likely to choose life for her child so that gives us again the opportunity uh, another great thing we have there and I don't want to miss this is that um, we have a program when a woman is choosing you know she has nine months really to choose okay so and we try to let her know that so she can take her time and so we have a program called earn while you learn mm -hmm. and in that um, earn while you learn program they can um, look at videos and uh, do paperwork or homework sheets on healthy pregnancy healthy baby life skills and even Bible study if they want to right. and we can engage them for up to a year uh, again like I said in the beginning we want to become a friend to them mm -hmm. invest in their life not just tell them oh you don't need to do this and just you know leave them at that point we want to embrace them and help them to see you know what it means to make good life choices mm -hmm. uh, whether they place their baby in adoption even at that time they can earn coupons by going through that earn while you learn program mm -hmm. and we have a hope closet at each location and at that location, Wait, we now have, you said that you have at each location, uh -huh. so there are there, there there's more than one. There's two. Okay, yes. in we have one in Loganville okay. on Highway 81, and we have one in Monroe on Breed Love Drive. Excellent. Okay. Yes. Yeah. Yes, and um, so um, they can come to you know either location, which is most convenient for them, and we do like appointments on the Earn While You Learn, but mm -hmm. they come and earn those coupons, and they can shop in this hope closet. They can buy maternity clothes with their coupons. And, 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 and this is geared toward prenatal, is that correct? It is prenatal. The, the, the requirement for them to be in the Earn While You Learn program is that they must be pregnant. Right. They don't have to know if they're going to parent or if they're going to place their baby in adoption mm -hmm. or even if they're going to choose abortion. Okay. They can come and you know we can uh, just gear that Earn While You Learn program to what their needs are, what mm -hmm. they want to see and uh, learn about. And, uh, and the, in the meantime, they can earn coupons to buy diapers and wipes, any baby items that they need up to a baby's age of one year, including car seats and baby cribs and just everything. Mm -hmm. um, and the community, um, churches and individual groups, women's groups and such donate to those hope closets is really a cool part of the ministry. Wow, awesome. Yeah. Let me ask you this now, if, 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 a, if a young lady that might be looking at us now mm -hmm. uh, finds himself in a situation where, uh, where they're in desperation, yes. uh, what, what would you instruct them from the place that they are now, mm -hmm. they've just found out maybe they are in a position that, uh, that they don't want a baby, mm -hmm. uh, or they might want a baby. Mm -hmm. uh, but what uh, what instruction would you give them, especially if they had to if they had to come to you? Yeah. Well, I would just tell them that um, if they're located in Loganville, mm -hmm. they can. Uh, can I give our, our phone number? Sure. I think okay. That would be awesome. Okay. Great. They can call us at seven seven zero four six six 
3900 and uh, make an appointment. We are open there on Monday, Tuesday, and Thursday evenings. If they're located in Monroe, they can call 678-635-8564. And uh, we're there on Mondays from 1 to 5 and on Fridays from 9 to 1. And we will be expanding the hours there to Thursdays uh, for a four-hour session. We're not sure of those times yet, but those are the numbers they can call. They can also check uh, on our website at www.waltonpregnancy.com. Um, that they can find a lot of information about pregnancy and unplanned pregnancy and mm -hmm. where to go, what services we have, and such. But we would love for them to call, to come, and to let us just um, sit down with them. We can do another free pregnancy test. Mm -hmm. And if they are at least six weeks pregnant, then we can offer them a free ultrasound as well to, to find out for sure if they have a viable pregnancy. Because many women, especially young women, miscarry before... Okay. Um, before birth and before even they, if they choose abortion, many young women may go to an abortion clinic, have an abortion, and they've miscarried. They don't even have a viable pregnancy. Not only that, um, a viable pregnancy would help the health of that young woman. Mm -hmm. We would, we would, uh, if she did not, if we saw an anomaly, something that didn't look exactly like it should look, right. we would refer her immediately to at least three physicians in the area. Mm -hmm. And um, so, you know, we try to just take good care of her. That's right. what we try to do. Um, well, I, I, think, I think that, uh, I think what you guys are doing is a foundational thing to helping the community uh, to continue to move towards the direction that it needs to move towards. Yes. And I think that, uh, that caring for families, caring for uh, children and unborn children, I think that uh, those are things that cause a society to be strong. Absolutely. And, um, and I, I just, uh, I commend the work that you guys are doing. Mm -hmm. I've heard great things about, mm -hmm. about what you guys are doing over there. And, um, and I'm so appreciative mm -hmm. that, you, uh, that you allowed me to talk with you today. Oh, yes. And um, is, there, uh, is there any kind of final words that you might want to say or information that you guys might be having something there at the center that uh, the community can kind of take a part in? Well, uh, we are, I think all of us are looking forward to Freedom Fest, mm -hmm. uh, July 4th. That's exactly and right. so we will have a tent at Freedom Fest and we'll have some handouts and uh, I think we're going to have some free water uh, bottles of water and such and so we would love to talk with anyone who's interested in the ministry or who has a need please uh, come by and, and talk with us and otherwise feel free to give us a call come visit the center if you'd like to um, we are staffed by mostly by volunteers mm -hmm. so if you feel God calling you to this ministry please Give us a call and let us know. God bless you. So there's volunteer opportunity. Oh, absolutely. Yes. yes. That's wonderful about that's one of the wonderful things about Monroe is that there's a lot of volunteer that's opportunity. Right. <laughs> that's right. We need to do. That's exactly right. That's <laughs> yeah, we got some stuff ourselves. Yeah. Uh, listen, thank you again for uh, for joining us today. And uh, remember, as I've said every week in the past. On Friday nights, we have community dinner here at Rivers of Mercy at 714 Davis Street. We'd love it if you would come and be a part. And uh, remember Yvonne and what they're doing at the Pregnancy Resource Center. And uh, be praying for them as well as, as well as if you have a desire to volunteer there, uh, go over, sign up, and, uh, and, and they'll, they'll put you to work over there. Thank you again for joining us, and have an excellent, excellent day today.